I was not yelling. I'm not. They just don't like it that I'm not leaving. I have twenty dollars. I just want gas on this pump out here. That's all I want. They're gonna refuse you service. Which is which is against the law. For what reason? California Civil Code fifty one B. And what is your exemption for that? I have a asthma. I don't wear masks. Okay. Do you know that the governor has taken away that exemption? The governor's uh, m mandate has been ruled unconstitutional in Sutter case. Good you, are you are you aware they of that? They still have the right to refuse service. No, they don't. You to leave their property. No, they're a public accommodation. They don't have the right to discriminate against me. They're not discriminating. Against they are. They're not allowing me to buy gas because you're not wearing your mask, which is against the law to to order me to do so. It's unconstitutional, and you should know that. And they have the right to refuse service. They do to not. That are They're a public them. accommodation. Okay. I'm more educated, it seems like, than you guys are, okay. which where which is usually the case. Where did you get your degree? I don't need a degree. I can study the law. Okay. You don't need a degree to understand what what's written in the law. Okay. And I can read a civil code, which is very clear. Would you like me to bring it up and show it to you on my phone? We can do that outside, no. so that you're no longer affecting their business. I wouldn't be if they had taken my 20, it would have taken two seconds. But instead, they're discriminating against me, and then you're also conspiring with them to break the law, to try to force me to leave a public accommodation, which should be granting me access to gas, which is something that sh it's provided and to the public. And they would do so as long as you were wearing your mask? No. Which is against the law to force me to. And it's against the law for you to remain here after no, it's not. Asked no, it's not. They're unlawfully trying to, to to make me leave. And you should know that if you knew the law. And you are now affecting their business because three customers have been turned They are affecting their own business by discriminating yes, against me. No, I'm not. I'm standing up for my constitutional rights, which you are trying to violate, and they already have. They can just take my 20 and I'll be out of here. There's they no reason for this. To. I've been here several times. I come here every week. Right I come here every week. This guy has helped me before. He hasn't given me a hard time. I tell him I have a valid medical exemption. He takes my money. I fill up. I come back and get changed and I leave. Today, this person decides to be a tyrant and call the cops and try to have you guys force me out of here, which is against the law. This is a public accommodation. California Civil Code 51B grants me permission to come in here without a mask, according right. and also There's the Constitution. Civil code and you can go try to sue them if you want, but right now you need to. They need to take my money and give me gas. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. You can sue them if you wish. No, I'm not going to waste my time right. doing that. And you can try to sue us too, but right now it's time for you to leave. At this point, you're obstructing their business. No, I'm not. Violations They're the obstructing their own business. Mm -hmm. Sir. Is there anything within reason that I could do to get you to leave? You can take this 20 and give it to them and they can put fucking gas in my car. No, they're not going to do that for you. Why? Because you are you have yelled and screamed at this lady, so they're going to refuse you, sir. I'm not yelled and screamed at her. You're also refusing to wear a mask. As this time Which is against the law to force a human to do. This is all against the law. I'm the only one actually following the law right now. All of you guys... You're following a civil code. Right? Yeah. Yeah, which means you can, deal which with you them should be civilly honoring through the as a as a police enforcement as a law enforcement officer. I'm not going to enforce a civil violation. No, so you shouldn't. You, you to, should you be enforcing court. my constitutional there rights. Way, there is a way for you to make an argument with the courts, and you have the right to do that. I have right a right now, to get gas right now at this right public now, accommodation. Refusing service to you. So well, I'm refusing to leave. So you're going to have to break the law by forcing me to leave. And I'm going to catch it on video. That's good for you. Yeah, it will be. It's recorded on that video Great. camera and that video good. camera and that one also. Great, okay. Well, let's do this. Let's break my let's break my constitutional rights right now in front of the whole world to see. All right. Do you really want to make this a criminal case? It won't be because I'm not breaking the law. Sir, do you want this person removed from your property? Yes. Are you willing to sign a citizen's arrest for trespass? Yes. Do you want to get a supervisor out here before we have to go hands on? Yeah. Can you start a supervisor as well? Now we wait. All right. So pointless. You guys are really afraid You're of COVID. Right. You are being pointless. No. 
No. My freedom, my constitutional rights are not pointless. No, I'm not. I'm standing up for America's constitution, which everyone else seems to be ignoring. Everybody else seems to be concerned about taking care of other people. That's, that's irrelevant. The constitution is the law of the land. This hoax virus bullshit perpetuated by the elites to get us to sell out and give up our rights and break America down to destroy our economy, to get people to capitulate to dumb demands, to shut businesses down. This is all a ploy to destroy our country. And you guys are all a party to it. So you think that there is no virus? It's exaggerated. It there, there has been no more deaths this year than last year. And you think that wearing a mask... I have a medical exemption that doesn't require me to wear one. The Constitution does not allows me to have the liberty to not do anything that you guys are asking me to do. I strongly disagree. Well, I don't care what you disagree with. You're ignorant to the law. There are portions of the governor's law the governor that have been unconstitutional. That have been talked about in the courts. It's, been, it's gone to the court. He was proven to be in violation of the Constitution and his orders were null and void. I can pull it up on my phone and show you the case that has nullified his actions. Go ahead. You want to see it? Sure. Right. So the cops came, which I got some of that on video, and they offered to take my money and give it to the tyrannical cashier so I can fill up my truck with gas and they'll get my change for me. They were basically about to arrest me and I still have work to do today, so I figured I'd made enough commotion here protesting. I have enough court matters to deal with. So I took the cop's offer for him to pay for my gas. And uh, so now I'm going to fill it up and get change, go to Jimbo's, and then go get my battery cables and com complete my work that I need to do today. Um, but yeah, he wouldn't uh, accept my um, my documents that show that Gavin Newsom is violating the law. And um, they're, you know, a party to it. They're basically conspiring with the health department, the governor, and now Vaughn's to violate my constitutional rights and also um, what I'm um, granted as having lawful access to under California Civil Code 51B. Uh, so, yeah, Vaughn's gas station in Escondido, uh, another tyrannical place that I've had to, you know, try to exert my rights to. And uh, so I'm going to get my change now. I do, yep. Okay, and they're asking that you not return here anymore. They can ask me all they want. It's not okay. the last time I'll be here. Have a wonderful day. I will. You too. You might as well want to study the law a little more. Yeah, so in America, when you try to stand up for your rights, you are the one causing problems. You are the one harassing others when you try and stand up for your rights, which you have. Can you give me the right change? Yes. All right. Yeah, they had three cop cars here. They had like five cops all here to make sure that, uh, you know, I, I follow their stupid mask policy.